I'm Todd, and I play the drums. I started playing piano when I was like three or four, then uh, drums when I was ten, but that's the school band, didn't really learn too much. I quit drums when I was 14 because I didn't want to join the band in high school, but I uh, taught myself guitar and bass, and I was in a band playing guitar and singing, and then got back into the drums and started jamming with these guys. And it's time I cut my shot in the daylight sky Fighting in the color of the tip of my eyes I'm scared of the new life Scared of the fucking coin But I'm gonna get a glass I'm about to bring it on Mask and bring it on Mask and bring it on Mask and bring it on I play the drums and I manage the band and get all our gigs and that sort of thing Special announcement, when I get back to Brisbane tomorrow, I'm going to have sex with my drum kit. The first man to have sex We're with a drum kit, okay? The reason behind the face paint, um, I was, the first gig we played, I drew on my face with Nico, and then ever since then I just painted it it's different every time. Uh, I try to make it look pretty evil, just... Um, I don't know, it just makes the... just turns out like a clown. It just makes us look crazy. Yeah, evil clowns, I like them. I like evil clowns. I like evil looking things. I learnt the keyboard from an early age and basically I've done DJing as well. I did a DJ course and so I can read music and I've got a good idea for rhythms as well. I can play drums. And the last band I was in before this one was a jazz funk band. And um, I was DJ and keyboard player. And uh, yeah, that's my background in music. Last year I played a big part in managing. I was booking a lot of the gigs. And I do a, I, to this day I still do heaps of advertising. <laughs> joined the band expecting, like not really expecting much because I was a keyboard player and I had sort of a dance, sort of trip hop background and funk and jazz sort of stuff and I wasn't really into metal but I thought I would sort of try jamming with these people because um, I liked the idea of combining metal with other styles. Um, so I came along with the keyboard, we put together some things and it's, I thought it sounded good so I yeah, I stuck with it because I like the idea of combining styles and um, especially combining sort of dancey styles with heavier styles and just bringing the two together. Look at it. As a child, I was a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> and after watching Scooby-Doo, I realised that I too would be a musician. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Dylan. I play bass. I've my six red theory in piano i played guitar for about 10 years and I can play the flute out of my ass. It's hard to walk around public without feeling the shame. They treat me like an ashtray. I only threw my pick into the audience when I'm really happy with the way I play. Yeah. And I threw it into the audience. Yeah. I'm Rally, I play lead guitar. Well, I started playing guitar when I was about uh, 12, but got a bit more serious at it when I was about 15. Um, I had my old band up on Mount Tambourine, which is my hometown, um, and I really wanted to go serious with them, but 
somewhere in the middle of that I came down to Brisbane and I still tried to keep up the project with them um, but I started joining with what Headcase I started jamming with what Headcase used to be um, with different members and what have you and sort of juggled the two bands and then went more serious with the old band then went more serious with Headcase and this and that Anywho, uh, things didn't work out with the old band and I was back down in Brisbane at that stage to study and, you know, get off tambourine and uh, Headcase just turned out to be a lot more serious, a lot more committed and closer to the scene, so, um, yeah. Uh, I write a lot of the lead, I, I, I do all the solos, um, I help with the structuring, I come up with concepts. Uh, I, I, in, the, in the beginning, I, when we first said, oh, so what do we want to do? I was, I won't say I was the one, but I reckon, I, I, I personally believe I was, I had a big hand in deciding that, yeah, we will do uh, metal with other twists, other techno and, and circus music twists, and uh, something that was just a bit fresher than uh, blowing the audience head off for 40 minutes to an hour. So, <laughs> but oh, by all means, if Headcase is going to keep moving at the rate we're moving and keep and, and stays together and things like that, then yeah, I'll have no problem staying with it.